today we will be discussing a new software that is power bi this is a very common and new software that is linked to business intelligence and it helps us in making new dashboards and new reports which help in different data analytics and uh, different types of data analysis in organizations companies software houses organizations etc so what is this power bi or power business intelligence is all about actually it gets your data in different sources maybe in in form of tables in tabular form or some excel file or from some sql servers or from different data sets then it gives you the option of representation of data in different forms like in graphs charts bars slicers pie charts uh, the narratives the cards etc so in this screen you can see there are some this is the main window of power bi i have just opened this app from my desktop so on the first page it is asking me <coughs> sorry <coughs> to add data in my report to add this data i can just import data from excel i can import data from sql server i can paste data in a blank table or i can try a sample data set from get data in from other sources i will just click it and you will see that another option of different uh, uh, available options will be visible to you so in the meantime you can see this is the get data options in these 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 are the type of sources that we can use to get our data excel text pdf folders sharepoint sql servers ibms azure analysis power bi data flows and there are multiple options here through which this power bi software can extract your data so once i will extract my data the data will be loaded here and data will be visible here we have to first check if that data which is loaded is correct or not once this is checked then we will start to perform different operations then we will transform data and we will we will show data in different formats so today we will be discussing in the first step how to load data from excel because 80 to 90% of the data in industries and in different organizations is in excel format so we will be learning how to load this data from excel and uh, when data is loaded how to check this data is it okay if there is some error that needs to be removed and once this data is loaded then we will be performing different functions and we will be dif discussing different visualization techniques so let's click here import data from excel i will be clicking here then this will open my uh, my window in desktop so i will select any file excel file from here so i am selecting this file once i have clicked this file it is making a connection with that excel file and this will be showing me the different sheets in that excel file that are uh, available so i can select all the sheets from that excel file or i can just select uh, one particular sheet uh, from that excel file so what i can do is let's uh, let me select just two sheets from here one this one when once i have clicked this sheet you can see that this sheet is in this form it has multiple columns code description category date plan volume daily plan achieved volume daily variation reason code attainment percentage sub category and uh, sub reason and remarks so this is the one file and let's uh, collect this file as well raw gc once i have clicked this you can see this data is in in this form serial number material description date of production block number quantity block weight rack number so again balance days remarks category etc 
so <coughs> I will click load when this load is clicked you can see that this uh, software is loading the data from that excel file and from these particular sheets to this sheet so this is making a connection and this is loading all the data from those sheets to this power bi so once this is you can see this is in the process of loading it is creating connection with the model loading data to the model these are the steps so this is showing that how much data is being transferred this is in mbs so these rows are loaded so this is showing that okay i have loaded this type of data here so then now the data is entered data is loaded so it is asking me to build visuals with your data so we will be discussing this in the second part on the first step i will be showing you that how to check this data whether this is okay or is there some error and what are the data types like if there is some date in a column whether power bi has selected it in a date as well or not so we'll be collect we will be uh, clicking on this tab on the left most side you can see here currently report is selected i will be selecting this one you can see on the second number data when we have clicked this you can see that this data will be visible here the msa data is visible here see when i have clicked this these are the columns uh, for this data you can see the code description category date etc so this data is you can see is visible here so just select let's select the date and you can see here on the left side the name should be date and data type should also be date and format is this which is selected here similarly let's uh, click on some other maybe on weekly planned volume so what should what it is showing it is showing that this is the name this is the data type is whole number okay format is also whole number so this is selected so in this way you have to check e uh, some of the key columns like date and other columns that have data that either this data type is correct or not sometimes the data type is not okay and data type is in the form of text so when you will be performing some calculations this will be going to uh, make some error similarly in other sheet raw gc let's select this sheet so data of this sheet will be visible here so this is coming let me click, click it so you can see this is the data uh, date column i have checked it this the data is huge so this is taking some time to display so that date that is okay the data type is date let's can click on weight so weight is in decimal okay it's okay so material material is also in whole number serial number material description should be in text it is in text so we can see that data is okay data types are okay and the another very common mistake that people usually do that the headings of this data must be in the first row sometimes when you copy the data the data will not be in the first row so what you have to do is you have to make you have to delete the first row and you have to make the heading available in headings column in the first row this is must thing so there are some table tools as well you can see we will be discussing later what is meyer what is manage relationships here we have some column tools you can see the types help home so these are some of the things that are related to data so i am coming back so our data is available here and we are ready to build visuals with available data in form of maybe charts graphs columns waterfalls pie charts etc so we have different options available so in this video we have learned how to open power bi how to load data in power bi how to check data is okay or not is there some error in data or not so this the main this is the most important step when you are going to build some dashboard so we have learned this step very well if you have any question relating to that or you are facing any issue in loading your data 
then you must uh, ask us you can write in comments tab please like and share this video and subscribe to our channel until next time take care bye bye